Today, we are expecting Danielle Smith to deliver a speech in British Columbia. Is that right, Miriam? On a different topic. Tell us about that. Uh, She will be delivering a lunchtime speech in Vancouver to a uh, sort of small business crowd. Um, And she's going to be uh, talking about a sort of new policy idea that she wants to bring forward, a conversation that she says needs to begin about um, opening one, um, one sort of corridor for for energy transportation needs for pipeline needs um, through the north of the western provinces of Canada, basically from northern Ontario through Manitoba, um, through Alberta and, and and to British Columbia, and um, using this sort of as a means instead of having to do, she says, you know, one off negotiations each time uh, a new um, pipeline application comes through. Rather, she talks about sort of introducing this one kilometer wide corridor that uh, companies would then have a right of way through. Yes. Well, so, you know, so the idea is that, you know, you'd have this area and you'd say, okay, we're going to sacrifice this one kilometer of of Canada and that will be for uh, pipelines, utility corridors, you know, future uh, other kinds of industrial uh, applications. It's really interesting. I can't wait to see what the reaction is well, to this. It, it's in some ways, you know, What's, what's the line from Yes Minister? It's a very courageous speech. Um, I, I mean, I have to give her points. It is a courageous speech in the sense that it's going gonna, it's gonna to get her a lot of flack. I mean, uh, Daniel Smith is basically saying that we've become too prissy and too nimby in the sense that nothing is ever developed without a huge confrontation and hullabaloo. And she makes points about British Columbia saying that all of the population is concentrated in very specific areas because of of the mountainous terrain, it's harder to build. So what she's proposing is in some ways a very simple plan and in some ways a little bit of a simplistic plan because it's not so easy to say in Canada, all right, well, we're just going to reserve a kilometer wide corridor across the country because now you're going through difficult terrain, you're going through land that is claimed by First Nations, you're going maybe through land where treaties are still in dispute, or land where treaties have been, have been signed. Um, and it's fine for Smith to say, oh, lots of people will want to develop and this will be great for the economy along that corridor. A lot of other people are really not going to want a one kilometer wide swath of development through their wilderness.